Hi everyone, Ivan here. At this month's Sydney Drupal Meetup, I had the opportunity to do a presentation about search in Drupal 8. In the talk, I go through what's new in the core search module and I demo Search API, which is a powerful module for building search pages. So thanks to all of the attendees and the other presenters for such a great night. And if you're ever in Sydney and want to talk about Drupal, come and join us. So without further ado, enjoy this video. Search, search in Drupal 8. Um, my name is Ivan Zujek. Um, I'm a Drupal contractor or freelancer. I write a lot of content um, on my own site called webwash.net and just a shameless plug, I've, I've, I actually created a courses site um, where I put a lot of videos on and, I've, and the first Drupal 8 course is about paragraphs and I'm halfway through it now so if you want to check out and learn about paragraphs, head over to the site. I just had to add that in or my boss will be very angry. So today I want to talk about search and specifically what's new in Drupal 8. And I'm going to talk about three ways to create a search page. And the first one is core search. Now, search is one of those things where you either enable and forget and the client's happy or the client comes back and says, um, why doesn't the search page work like it does in Google? And then you have to kindly remind the client that you know, Google has a much bigger budget than they do. But in Drupal 8, search is even better, especially the core search module. And the new, and the core search module comes with two, I think two new pieces of functionality. The first one is custom search pages. So, so out of the box, you can create multiple search pages um, using just the core search module. In Drupal 7, you could, you could create a view as well as um, create a view with a filter and create your own custom search page, but right now you can do it using um, the core search module. There is one thing, how, however, um, when, you, when you create a search page, the path has a prefix of search, but things have changed where the actual keys, the keywords are passed in through a get parameter. So, so you could easily change, so here if you have a look at search slash node and search and search slash user, you can actually replace that using URL aliases. Whereas in Drupal 7, the keywords were passed in, um, were passed in as, as an extra argument. So it was search slash node slash keyword. And that made it pretty much impossible to, to add URL aliases to it. And if we go to the next page, you can see that um, right now the keywords are actually passed in through a get parameter, which makes things um, pretty easy. So that's kind of what's changed with uh, the core search module. Other than that, it's the good old stock standard search module. If you need to modify the search results, you just overwrite a template and you're good to go. The next way to, search, to, to create a search page is of course to use views. And in Drupal 8, things are, things are much easier because views is in core. But the same way you create views, a, a view search page in Drupal, in Drupal 7 is the same way you create it in Drupal 8. Um, the core search module gives you a filter. You just add this filter to your search page and you can create any type of search, any type of search page using just the core module and, and views. But the one that we've all been waiting for is search API. Now, search API at this point is in alpha and I gave it a test and it seems to work. Um, but there's a lot of work going on um, and things have changed slightly, okay? So what is new in Drupal 8? Well, first of all, Facets API has been moved over to a new project for Drupal 8 called Facets. So for Drupal 7, you use Facets API project. For Drupal, for Drupal 7, Facets API. For Drupal 8, you use another project called Facets. Not sure why they did that, but yeah, that's the way it is. And the Search API DB, um, which is the database backend, Previously was a separate project for Drupal 7 for Drupal 8 that has been moved into 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 search API. So right now um, Yeah, you just download search a API and out of the box you get you get the database backend um, to index your site So I think that is it for the slides now. It's time to demo things out. Okay, so here I've got a stock standard Drupal 8 site and I've, and I've, and I've installed 
the Devel generate module to just generate dummy content. And when you download the search API and facets API, sorry, facets, uh, where's the search? Okay, so there's a few things here. So uh, facets gives you a module which integrates facets with the core search, okay, so that you get facets, and, and um, I will show you what facets are. Um, and then here you get the database search, which, which for Drupal 7 was a separate project, but this one, which is pretty cool, this one right here, the database search default, this actually configures, uh, configures a whole search page for you out of the box. And, and I kind of know why they probably did this. And the reason for it is search API is great, but it takes a lot to set up. And if you read it here, you actually notice that it says, and that, you know, enable this module for best practice default setup, blah, blah, blah. After installation, it's recommended you uninstall this module. And the reason for that is the whole CMI stuff, the whole configuration management, when you install a module, it will configure everything and then you can easily just uninstall the module and you still have that configuration. So if you do want to play around with Search API, I recommend you just click on this and I'll also enable facets as well and of course the dependencies will just go off and enable every other module. But the UI has changed for Search API. So let me just quickly enable this. So out of the box we will get a server, so a database server and also an index as well as a views straight away just by enabling the default uh, module. So this always takes a bit of time because I've probably turned off some caches. All right, oh, it's doing something. No, it's probably indexing everything, there you go. Okay, so everything's been installed and set up and it's also indexed, and it also tells you, tells you, it gives you a nice friendly reminder to uninstall it. So let's just go in there and uninstall it. And just another top tip in Drupal 8, you have to go to the uninstall tab to actually uninstall things. Uh, where is that? And let's just uninstall that. And that's it. So right now we have a fully configured search API search page. Okay, let's just, need some holding music right now. But see, Drupal's like, you know, it's fast, it just takes a bit of time to get going. Anyway, um, so let's start off with the search API section. All right, you go into configuration and search API, nothing has changed. Um, if you've used search API for Drupal 7, this looks familiar, you, you can uh, create your server, which is the database server, server in our case, and, and the index. Um, but things have changed with the uh, index UI. So you come here and you can select the server, enable it, indexing options, everything pretty straightforward. And then on the fields, and this is where things have changed. Um, so this looks slightly different. So here you can actually select which fields will be indexed. And then you have this little field set here that tells you all the different data types. This is something new in Drupal 8, I'm not gonna go into it right now. Um, but if anybody wants to do a presentation on this, I think this is pretty important, especially from a developer standpoint, just a whole new data types in Drupal 8. Um, and if you wanna create, sorry, add a new field, just go in here, general content. I'm not quite sure what general content is. Um, I'm sure, yeah, maybe general is just a, a property and content is an actual proper field. So you can see here that you have all the different fields and you can simply just add it to the index. And then if we go to the processes, this has changed a lot. You can see you have all the, you have the pre, you have the pre-process section, the pre-process query and post-process query. I think this is the order in which these plugins are actually fired off because so it does, it does make sense. And this, and this can do things to your, to your index before, to your content before it gets indexed, before it's queried, and then after it's uh, queried. And everything else is pretty straightforward if you've used Search API for Drupal 7. Now, if we go to structure, views, you'll see that we have a view, uh, 
search view. Where is it? Saw it here somewhere. There we go. So you have a little view right here. Uh, let, me uh, let me get a keyword. I'm not quite sure what to search for because everything's in Latin. Uh, okay. So if I type in, if I search for something, yeah. And it's not working. That's very interesting. Okay. Now this is a good way to debug it. Let's just make sure it's all working. And what well, uh, it's all the, ah, there we go. Top tip, make sure you index. But then he did, but then he did say that he did, that he indexed things in the beginning. Anyway, it's in alpha, just give it time. So we're just gonna quickly index everything. And the last thing I'll show you, once this indexes, last thing I'll show you is how to create the facets because that has changed. Because in Drupal 7, you would have a tab right here that allows you to change, change and create facets. Whereas now for Drupal 8, things are different. So if we go to, what was it? Search content. And you come here, oh, here we go. Finally, I searched for this keyword while I was practicing it. Yeah, you can see things are returned. And this, and this is just a basic view. So you have full control over how the view is displayed. Do you want to, do you want to display a teaser? Do you, do you not want to display a teaser? You have full control over it. The final thing I'll show you is the facets. So to create a facet, you just go to configuration and click on facets. And then you can see here that you have this facet source. A facet lets you give, uh, not really. Yeah, Colin? I mean, they must have been on drugs because you can't describe a word by just using the word over and over again. Like, think of that. It says below the list of facets, group of facet sources. Well, hang on, hang on. Let me just, let me show it to you. Yes, Murray. <laughs> yeah, just a dimension. There you go. Oh, great. Yes, a dimension. <laughs> but I think you're jumping ahead. Let's actually set it up. So here we go, add a facet, and let's just create a content type. So I'll create content type, uh, content type. The source is our search page, and which field will be used as a facet. I'll select content type, and a weight of zero, and we've created the facet. The next thing we need to do is add it to the page. And with Drupal 8, everything is a block. Um, in Drupal 7, it, everything was also a block, but in Drupal 8, blocks are much better. Uh, so go here. Yes, property you can filter on. Thank you. Thank you. And you didn't use the word facet to describe facet at all. Exactly. All right, we come here, um, which one is a sidebar first? Click on create, add block, place block. Okay, and we save that. And let's go to our search page and, oh, there we go. You have the content types on the side. Let's just go. Well, the facets are appearing, and then you can filter by content type. Um, so there you go. Here's a basic example of how Search API works.